Greetings and welcome to Prayer for America and the Nations. I'm Walter Zagarevich. And I'm Nina Zagarevich. And we have Tony Abram. Abram. Yes. <laughs> Marge Abram. <laughs> yes, missionary evangelist Tony and March Abram, missionaries to over 125 nations of the world. Welcome and welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. And please, you know what I'm going to say, press that little oh, share yeah. button right now uh, so that your friends on Facebook could join us right now. If you're watching us on YouTube, share the link right now. And do subscribe to a YouTube channel, one uh, uh, under my name or the one under Global Vision. Please uh, uh, do that. It is free and, uh, and allow notifications so that you may be notified every time we're on here. Likewise on LinkedIn, thank you for joining us. If you're watching us on our webpage, thank you for joining us. God richly bless you and welcome to the special um, broadcast. We have it on a daily basis. We call it Prayer for America and the Nations. We began by praying especially for America because of our need of God's intervention. And uh, we realized that not just America, but every nation of the world needs God, needs Jesus. And so we are praying for all nations. And uh, in particular, recently we have been praying for Ukraine and we continue to do so. But uh, welcome, Tony and March. Good to be here this morning or afternoon or wherever you may be. And uh, it's always a joy to share on the broadcast and be your guests on it and, and appreciate your ministry. Wanting, and you know, it's marginalized desire uh, for all our ministries, wanting to tell people about Jesus mm -hmm. and to pray for others. And that, and this is an extra opportunity for us to do so with you. And uh, we know that you both have a heart for souls and you have a heart to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have a heart to help people. And of course, through your ministry, what a wonderful addition to your ministry you've had for the last year or so. Uh, well, no, no, not quite a year for uh, since the war started, which is what, about five months now? They said yeah, five yeah. days is going to be five days. Now we're looking at five months. And uh, uh, we appreciate the, uh, the, the heart that the, the you both have to help these on the front line. And uh, like you, we know most of these ministers, or at least we met them and uh, probably prayed with them and taught them. And we know what, how the help that you're doing is going to, uh, well, it's doing a lot of good. The Lord, well, you, you yes. have something. Uh, praise the Lord. Well, Walter and Nina, it's so good to share the good news of Jesus. Amen. It, there's no other way that we can be saved, but through the name of Jesus. And what a joy it is when we share our testimony with others and we tell them what Jesus has done in our lives, the peace of God that we have, knowing our sins are forgiven. We don't have to hope our sins are forgiven. We know that our sins are forgiven. Praise God. And so you can know if you don't know, if you're listening to this broadcast and you don't know that you're saved, you don't have that assurance. You can have that assurance today. Amen. Amen. You can know that Jesus is your own personal savior and that you have a home in heaven with him. And I like that word personal. He is with us. And he said, I'll never leave you. Never what? Forsake you. I'll yeah. never forsake you. Praise the Lord. Even in our old age. Even in our old but age. But we don't want to talk about old age because we want to be young in faith with the Lord. Young in faith. Our faith in Jesus Christ is what we want to have. Praise Amen. Amen to that, Tony Martin. We're so happy that you're here with us. And I want to thank everybody who joins us on a daily basis or even maybe once in a while that, that you are joining with us together in numbers. We make a difference in our prayer. James 5.16, I know I've said this before, that a fervent 
persistent prayer of the righteous produce is powerful and it produces wonderful results. So we just want to thank you for praying together with us because God is working. God is working in Ukraine. God is working in America and the nation that you're from. We know that in Ukraine, miracles are happening. People are coming to the Lord. Revival is starting. Churches are filled. There's miracles happening of um, God saving people, not only um, saving them from sin, but saving them from the bombs exploding. And also in America, we're thanking God that God is answering our prayers here. Revival is starting here in America. And also we had a huge victory when the Supreme Court um, reversed Roe versus Wade. We know the enemy is mad now. And that is why we even pray the more to stop this madness in our country. We know that God is able to do abundantly more than we could ask or think. We just need to keep being persistent in our prayer. And it says, if we do not grow Grow weary a well doing in due season we will reap. So I believe that our due season is coming. We just don't need. We have to remember not to quit, not to believe the lies of the enemy that our that our prayers are doing nothing because they are powerful. Amen. 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 And uh, you know, Tony and March, uh, uh, what <clears throat> Nina just said. You know, the enemy is mad because certain things have happened, like the Roe v. Wade decision being overturned. Well, it reminds me of what is happening on the uh, uh, in the war theater in Ukraine. Um, it's uh, uh, we see that the Russian leader is very mad because of the advances that have been made by the Russian uh, by the Ukrainian forces. And they're lopping these awful bombs from far away, uh, throwing missiles from the Black Sea, throwing missiles from Russian territory far, far deep into Ukraine to destabilize and to terrorize people, literally. And, uh, but, you know, something that I saw um, last night, there's a claim in Russia that Ukraine has super soldiers. Oh, that yeah. uh, they're Somehow they've modified people to be these very uh, uh, strong Monstrous. soldiers. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm thinking... Uh, what are they talking about? Uh, some of the poor Ukrainian soldiers don't even have boots. Uh, they don't have enough military uniforms to go around. Uh, some of them don't have proper helmets, and uh, and and they certainly were outgunned, out uh, uh, outnumbered. But let me tell you, when uh, when I hear the testimony of a Christian in the military who was. Uh, being shot at close range, 16 bullets, and not one of them hit him. Don't tell me God does not answer prayer. When I see rocket after rocket in a field or someplace in somebody's kitchen, but it did not explode, don't tell me God doesn't answer prayer. God, the God factor is what nobody is taking. Well, I shouldn't say nobody, what the news media does not take into account. And apparently the leadership in Russia is not taking into account. There are people praying. It's not just us. The people in Ukraine are praying people. They have been praying and people worldwide have been praying. They didn't ask for this. They didn't invite this. They, they were just trying to live their lives peacefully. And they did not have a strong military. In fact, when the Soviet Union collapsed and Ukraine became an independent nation, um, they were asked to give up their nukes. They had the third largest nuclear arsenal in the world, if you could imagine. Nobody talks about this. The U.S., Russia, and Britain convinced them to give up their nukes in return for protection over their territory. Well, one of the signatories of that agreement uh, not only did not honor the agreement, but went and attacked the, the nation. It is very unfortunate. And the others, well, they kind of forgot about that agreement, it seemed, in 2014. And this time, they kind of uh, are trying to, uh, well, the U.S. and Britain are, have tried very hard and are doing much to help. But uh, uh, let me tell you, they did not have a strong military. They don't have super soldiers. The soldiers that are Christians, uh, and I've heard this now from several pastors there, that wherever, because many people were called up to the military, including Christians, of course, and they're out there on the front lines, and they pray, and the other soldiers are starting to pray with them because they're seeing that as they pray, 
God is protecting them. God is intervening. Mm -hmm. uh, God is uh, doing things that they could not do. They they look and see. We know we didn't do this. This is I don't. We don't know how this happened. And and we know they know they see the hand of God in a very tangible way. And let me say this: We don't rejoice in the death of anyone, whether they be Ukrainian or Russia. This awful, this war is an awful, awful thing. And I'm sure that some of those Russian soldiers, uh, perhaps even many of them, are, are they're reluctantly, they're they're under orders, not wanting to do this. But we pray, we pray for God's protection. We pray that God would give a spirit of repentance Amen. to those who are coming to kill, steal, yeah. and destroy. Mm -hmm. And um, and if they don't repent, that God would use whatever necessary to stop them, jam up their equipment or something, and and so that they would not be able to uh, kill more people. Um, but Tony, I think you wanted to say something. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you may you may be missing something right there when you're talking about these super soldiers. There just might be a few of them, and they are, could be angels. They're saying right. the angels and, of the Lord encounter around those that love him and seek the lord that's yes. right uh, and uh they, they, they could be they could be having visions they could be seeing angels and they're thinking they're super soldiers because they could be putting bullets right through them and it would not bother the angel at all so uh you know our god uh can do anything and you know we we, we talk about that our God can do anything. There's a song. He can do anything, anything but fail. But but you, did you know there are three things that God cannot do, and yet there's victory in those three things. One of them is uh, God cannot sin. Do you know our God is perfect? There's a scripture uh, found over in Hebrews, the uh, what fourth chapter, the 16th verse. Let us therefore come boldly onto the throne of grace. We, God doesn't want us to sneak up. He wants us to come boldly in his presence that we may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. Why? Because God, here's number one, God cannot sin. He is perfect. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians 5.21, and because he cannot sin, because he is perfect, the Bible tells us there, for God hath made him to be made sin for us. He cannot sin, but he became sin for us, that we might be made what? The righteousness of God in Christ he became in him. sin for us who knew no sin. Who knew no sin. Yes. Hallelujah. And then, then, then the second thing, of course, God cannot lie. We can lie. Governments can lie. <laughs> Just like this, uh, what you're talking about, the uh, uh, the pact that they made, get rid of the atomic bombs, the nuclear arsenal, and we will protect you. Here, one of the protectors is attacking, which is Russia. They should be protecting because they can lie, but God cannot lie. Titus in the New Testament says, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world even began. And of course, you guys end the, the programs with it. Hebrews. 13 and 8, Jesus Christ the same. He cannot change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Malachi 3, 6, uh, that last, it's the last chapter, but coming to, towards the end of the last book of the Old Testament, Malachi, the prophet said that, he uh, was repeating what God said, I am the Lord, I change not. God is unchanging. So mm -hmm. if there are some super soldiers, well, there were super soldiers back in the days of the prophets for the children of Israel. So look out, look out enemies. 
Uh, when you're on the wrong side, you don't want to be on the wrong side of God. You don't want to be the, the uh, initiator of mass murder. You better get on the right side. And though we love the Russian people, we are 100% against what is the happening. War, yes. The war is of wars of the devil. The devil came what? To steal, kill, destroy. And we're seeing a lot of, when, you, when, you, when we look at the pictures and we see the destruction, uh, what you share on, on, on prayer for America and the nations and what we see on the news, I mean, we see destruction, and that's that's exactly the opposite of it's it's the work of the devil, the opposite of God and God's love. So Amen. that's why we got to pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. I think I think it's um, uh, thank you for bringing that up, Tony. I didn't think about that, but you're absolutely right, and I I was reminded as you said that of something that we've been praying here. I've been praying that God would unleash his heavenly army. That's right. Because physically, uh, the army of Ukraine, they cannot do it. But it's it, a David Goliath situation. Yeah, it's a David Goliath situation. And mm -hmm. there are people yes. praying. And uh, so I've been praying that God would release his heavenly hosts. The Bible says that Jesus is the captain. He's the of, he's the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. He's the captain of God's armies. And so, yes, God has armies, and, and angelic armies. And, uh, and so, um, you know, there are territorial spirits. Uh, there are, uh, if you look in the Bible, look at Daniel, and you could see that there was a prince of Persia. And it wasn't talking about the physical king. It was talking about a, a, a um, supernatural, shall we say, or a sp rather a spiritual uh, being that was over that territory. And as Daniel prayed, uh, God uh, sent his angel, uh, Michael, to help Gabriel, I guess it was, to get the message over to Daniel uh, so that, uh, you know, God had answered, but the devil was trying to stop that answer from coming. And we see that there was a conflict. There was a war of sorts up in the heavenly realm. Well, this region of the world, this is, uh, you know, we see this happening now, but there are principalities that are not wanting to let the people go. They do not like the freedom that people were enjoying in Ukraine. Ukraine, as far as the preaching of the gospel, I would say well, is the freest country I've ever uh, right. been in, um, and even freer than the United States until this war began there. I don't know what their restrictions may be now, uh, but only due to movement because of the war. But as far as meetings, gatherings, preaching the gospel, no restrictions, no, don't even have to get a permit to go out and have a public event. Uh, more freedom than here in America. And the devil hates that. And this is the part we as believers need to understand. This is not just a territorial, physical, right. or political war. This is a spiritual war. These areas that Russia has invaded, the eastern side of Ukraine, the southern part of Ukraine, are the very areas God has sent us to work in over the last 30 years. We've, helped, we've trained many workers, many pastors there. We've helped establish hundreds of churches in these regions, and the devil hates the work of God. And it's not just us. God has been raising up missionaries, local missionaries, to work in those areas, the very areas that are being attacked, the very areas where the, some of the worst battles are taking place are those very areas that we have been planting churches and God has been uh, really moving in a powerful way. And guess who hates that? The devil. And so the devil stirs somebody up. The demonic influence has come into somebody's mind and heart and, and, and stir them up to go and do certain things. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the physical part where the news will report the physical war, but there is the spiritual side. And we as believers have spiritual authority 
to bind and to loose, the Bible says. And we can bind those demonic spirits that are influencing people to do the evil that they are doing. And so our war, Paul said very clearly, is not against flesh and blood, but it is against uh, those principalities, those rulers of the darkness of this age. So he is talking about spiritual rulers over nations, over regions, and this area, uh, let me tell you, under communism, and Tony March can attest to that, we went together into the Soviet Union, and as you, the closer you got to the Soviet Union, you could feel that oppression. Nobody had to tell you that the border is coming up, because you felt this darkness, you felt this oppression, and there was this oppression, it was like a prison in that whole entire region, and yet uh, that is some of what they're trying to bring on the people again. So those spirits, and, and it's not, you know, maybe it was a Soviet uh, uh, imperialistic type of uh, um, uh, uh, approach that, that took place then, but you go back even before that, there was this imperialistic type of ambitions under the czars and others. So this type of spirit, was in that area, does not want to let loose of people, wants to put people in bondage, wants to control people, especially people who are free to think for themselves, people who are free to preach the gospel, to believe as they want to believe. That has been uh, uh, something that the devil hates, and the devil is trying to uh, snuff out the freedom that in that whole region that in the revival that has been going on in Ukraine. But let me tell you, he's not going to succeed. Jesus Christ's words I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Those words will be fulfilled, shall be fulfilled, and the devil can try to do whatever he wants. But he's not going to stop the church as this is happening. The opposite is happening of what they mm -hmm. intended to do. The churches, you know, some of them have lost 40% of their people because they uh, fled because of the war. Some of them lost 60%. Well, uh, in Bishop Anatoly's church, all but 20 people had left, and yet he's got a couple hundred people on Sunday. So where who are those people? They're new people, and this is happening in all over. Uh, pastors are telling me uh, we have people coming, and they listen so attentively. They're, you know, they listen, and when we invite them uh, to pray uh, or come up for uh, salvation, many people respond. They're baptizing these new converts. So the opposite of what the devil wanted to do is happening. More people are coming to Jesus Christ. In the midst of all this rubble, in the midst of, the, of this awful war, there are wonderful salvations, stories of redemption, stories of protection, stories of God's uh, divine intervention and provision. And let me tell you, I'm not trying to sugarcoat this war. It is terrible in the reports and the information we get on a daily basis is horrific. You know, today we had five rocket attacks. Today we had 20 or whatever. And, and I mean, this is a kind of stuff that we, we get directly fed to us from these pastors. We're in contact. And sometimes there's a certain amount of panic in their voice. I hear the sirens going off and they're rushing through the building looking for everybody to get, get them down into the, uh, bomb, into the shelter. bomb shelter underneath the building. And, and so we know how awful this is. But these pastors, when they call us, they said, good morning. It's morning there. It's late here. And they say, you know, we're, uh, th we are thankful to God. We are alive. And it's a privilege to serve him, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So that's just amazing attitude that they have. But they realize that the that the day that they're living is the only day that they have got. They don't know if they're going to be here tomorrow, but they are thanking God for the privilege of serving him. Right now in Kharkiv, they're telling the people to be ready to evacuate at any moment. And so people that have stuck it out for five months now and people that have returned there are, are, are being told to pack their bags and be ready in case of emergency because the attacks from Russia have been relentless and have increased, in fact, uh, on Kharkiv from a longer distance away. And so, but you know, this is where we come in. We pray. 
we pray and they feel our prayers, they sense our prayers, and they know that God is answering. Tony and mm -hmm. March, back to you. Yes, uh, Brother Walter and Sister Nina, they, the people are seeing the love of God through these ministries and the helps that they are giving. And so they know, they're realizing who Jesus is, that Jesus is there and, and working through these ministries. They have to see that. I think of Mark chapter eight, when they asked Jesus, who, and Jesus asked them first, he said, who do you say that I am? And they said, Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God, this great revelation of who Jesus is. This is what we pray that the world would know who Jesus is. I think of when I was saved, I was only eight years old, but I heard the gospel message that I could be saved and know who Jesus was. I received Jesus. And I remember the next day I went to school and I started to tell my friends about Jesus. But later we had a brother come to our church who was a, a uh, in the ministry, uh, starting the ministry. He had been in Bible college and he talked about the Bible college. And I was just over eight years old. I'd just been saved. And I thought, oh, when I grow up, I want to go to Bible college, to that Bible college and learn. And, you know, years later, God did send me to a Bible college and I, I completed the course. And then I met Tony. But, you know, when I was in Bible college, we had missions groups. We had a band. We had the Oriental band. We had the African prayer band. We had the home missions band. We had the Latin American uh, prayer band. And I would join each year. I would join a different band. I had a, a burden for missions for souls. And when a missionary would come, I would weep in this. I would weep in the service because God was had his hand on me and he was calling me to missions. But I didn't know. I didn't know it at the time. And when Tony had the call of God and I had the call of God, we obeyed the Lord. But, you know, how wonderful it is, Brother Walter and Sister Nina, to share that truth of Jesus, who Jesus is. He is the son of the living God. Amen. And if he had not been, he said he was, he would not have been a good teacher or a good prophet. If he would have lied about and said who he was, he was the son of the living God he cannot lie. and he cannot lie. And so we just thank God for the revelation we have. And we want to share this with others, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way but through Jesus Christ for salvation. So we, we just thank God for these opportunities we have to share with you here on this broadcast and also to share our testimony wherever we go. We want to tell the whole world about what Jesus means to us because what he does for us we know he can do for others because he is no respecter of persons. No. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Tony, why don't you invite people to receive Jesus right. right now and lead them in a prayer? Well, this is as good time as any because the Bible says, uh, not you, not me, but the Bible says today is the day of salvation. And now, is the accepted time. Now, will he, could he save you tomorrow? Of course. Could he save you next week? Yes. He, could he save you on your deathbed? Yes. But do you want to take that chance? Ah, uh, you don't want to miss it because that's why today is the day. And you say, well, how can I be saved? Well, receive Jesus. You could believe on Jesus. Now receive him. If you believe that Jesus came into this world, died for your sins, rose again from the dead, if you believe that, well, you're a candidate to know him as a personal Savior. Because do you know there are millions of people that do believe in God, but to them, God is somewhere far off in the heavens. But God wants to be involved in your life, in your home, in your family, in every aspect of your life. He cares. I mean, if he cares about the little sparrow, if he cares about that bird, you are more important 
He cares about you. And you say, well, I want to know him. Well, the first step to take is to receive him into your heart and life. And the Bible says you must be born again. Well, when you receive him into your heart, uh, you look the same on the outside, but inside you become a new, and that's the part that's going to live forever. Your spirit, you're going to live forever. It, and you've got a choice of where you want to go. The hot weather that Europe, in the UK, the North America is experiencing now should remind people you think it's hot here. You don't want to go to the other place for sure. You want to, you want to spend mm -hmm. eternity yes. with Christ. And so here's what to do. Call upon his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the Bible says to as many as received him, he gave power to become the children of God, even to those that believe on his name. And you already believe on his name. So here's what to do. To take your hand, if you can, lay it on your heart. Close your eyes. Marge is going to repeat so that you can say it with her. Repeat what I say, but mean it from your heart. Be sincere. And if you are, God will is God is sincere and he will come into your life. He will be involved in your life and home and family if you let him. He wants to, but you gotta let him. Say, pray this out loud sincerely. My father, my father, my God, my God, I come to you. I come to you in the name of Jesus in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And with that same name. And with that same name. I call. I call. I say, Lord Jesus. I say, Lord Jesus. I believe you're the son of God. I believe you're the son of God. That you died for my sins. That you died for my sins. That you rose again from the dead. That you rose again from the dead. That you are my intercessor in heaven. That you are my intercessor in heaven. Heaven. And I call on your name. And I call on your name. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I want to be born again. I want to be born again. I don't understand everything. I don't understand everything. But I believe. But I believe. I believe on you. I believe on you. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. And I receive you. And I receive you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. I love that name. I love that name. And I want to be called by that name. And I want to be called I by that name. I want to be a true Christian. I want to be a true Christian. I want to live for you. I want to live for you. So I repent of my sins. So I repent of my sins. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my life. Come into my life. Be involved in my life. Be involved in my life. I receive you. I receive you as my own personal as savior. my own personal savior. I receive the forgiveness of my sins. I sin. receive the forgiveness of my sins. I receive my name being written in your book of life. I receive my name being written in your book of life. And I confess with my mouth. And I confess with and my I mouth. And I believe in my heart. And I believe in my heart. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And now I'm praying for you. Heavenly Father, for everyone that called and will call oh, upon yes, the name Lord. of the Lord, I pray that you give them the assurance yes, that they are Lord. passed from death unto yes, life, Lord. that now, yes, this Lord. moment, yes, something Lord. wonderful is happening. Yes. Angels are rejoicing in heaven. Yes, Lord, Lord, their names are being written in, in heaven in your book of life oh, and i pray the lord that you will yes. reveal yourself lord in a such a deep and precious way yes. as people that have called on your name will now follow you in jesus name friends if you pray that prayer do the three things you probably have heard if you've been watching previous a broadcast do three things it'll cause spiritual growth and 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 the knowledge and, and getting to know the lord 
better and better if you do these three things. Talk to him every day. Talk to him like a friend. We call it prayer. And that's prayer is talking to God. Second, let God talk to you. He talks to our spirit, our heart, that one called conscience, and that spirit that's inside you. He talks to you, but he, if it's him, if you know it's God, it'll be backed up by the Bible. So the second thing, read the Bible so that you can be filled with his word so he can speak to you. And third, talk to others about him. Share what God Christ has done for you yeah. and get involved in a Bible believing church and grow in the knowledge and, and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Walter. Amen. 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 And if you um, have taken the step. Jesus Christ has come into your heart. Do those three things that Brother Tony has just mentioned. It is so important because you are just now a babe in Christ and you need to grow in your relationship with him. You need the input of, uh, uh, of others in your life. You need to hear the word of God preach, read the word of God, very, very important. And uh, the next step would be to be baptized in water. That is something that uh, the word of God teaches us. It is an outward sign of the inward transformation in your life. Uh, what transpired in you, you demonstrated by taking the step in obedience to Christ's command to be baptized. So you are baptized in water and symbolically, you are uh, put into that water as if you were buried, uh, um, as Christ was buried, and you come up uh, as a new person, just like Christ resurrected. You are buried to your old self, and you come up to your new person, um, to being a new person in Jesus Christ. Well, as you receive Christ into your life, there is a wonderful, wonderful transformation in your life. And as Brother Tony has said, um, he has never met a Christian who said, I regret that I repented and received Christ into my life. Uh, so uh, you will never regret this moment. You will never regret this decision. Perhaps you have need of healing. You have issues in your life that you want prayer for. Maybe they're family issues. Maybe there are financial problems you are facing. Uh, perhaps you're dealing with a sick, uh, sickness in your body, or you have a loved one who is not well. We want to pray for you. And um, I want to mention that to write us if you have a need and want us to pray for you. We do pray and we do take prayer very seriously. I know but, some have written to us and we do pray for you. We may not mention you on this program, but when we get that request, we do pray. Walter and I stop everything we're doing and we do pray for you. So know that you are being prayed for. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But right now, let's take a moment and pray for those who are in need and who would like to lead us in that uh, uh, prayer. You want to do that, Nina or, or Tony or March? March. Maybe March. you could pray yes. for those who are in need. Uh, Praise of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Well, and I have some special relatives that need prayer, really need healing. And so we'll remember them and those that are hearing today, uh, place your hand on your heart or your whatever. If you have, loved one, put your hand on your heart for them, but also put your hand on your body, which hurts or aches or has pain or, or has sickness or illness. And we're just going to bring all of these requests to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, yes. we come to you today in we that precious Lord. name of Jesus, your name, which is above so every name. Lord, in Jesus name, we, you, we pray for these requests that have been coming into Brother Walter and Sister Nina and Tony's and mine. Uh, also, we pray for them. Lord, we bring them to you because they're looking to you right now. And we speak to 
those that are sick right now, the Jesus. spirits of the yes. infirmity yes. that are in the bodies, yes. in Jesus' name, those Amen. cancers, Jesus. cancers of the brain, oh, in God. Jesus' name, cancer of the breast area, and cancers throughout the bodies, in oh, Jesus' we name, we cancers. curse the roots of them. We pray for Dave and in that Jesus brain name. cancer. We Lord. pray, oh, Father, for all of these, for yes. Doreen, yes. for her healing of her bladder and kidneys, yes. and Lord, her body, her, Lord, her heart rate, Lord, yes. in Jesus' name, be normal. Yes. In Jesus' name, when she talks to the doctor today, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for healing in her body, yes. in Jesus' Kenny, name. Lord. And Kenny, Lord, his family, yes. his request the for COVID his own Lord. body, Lord, Lord and Jesus. COVID he's had, healing in his yes. body. In Jesus' name, we drive away all those COVID spirits of infirmity yes. in Jesus name we speak healing for them in Jesus yes. name and we thank you Lord Lord those that are hurting in their body Lord and yes. pains in their back and in their legs and Lord there's their uh, so all their good. organs Lord that are not in working Jesus right name. Father we speak to them these spirits of infirmity to leave these bodies in Jesus name yes. right now as they believe as they receive in Jesus name and say yes I thank you for my healing yes, right Lord. now in Jesus name yes, father we just pray for all of our friends Lord and their families yes. Lord their needs their yes. eyes Lord the friends with the son's eyes Lord that yes. he would see clearly Lord yes. in Jesus name as you healed the blind man Lord that he could see clearly Lord let him also see clearly Clearly in Jesus name and father we just thank you for what you're doing today Lord as we request all answer all these requests Lord as they have asked us to pray father in Jesus name we send the word we send the word to all the nations Lord that are Lord represented and are hearing us today we send your word to them in Nepal Lord we send your word to them in Africa and Lord West Indies and East Indies Lord Lord all of the North and South America Latin America America. Yes. Lord, we pray for the nations, Japan, Father, Lord. Japan, Korea, Vietnam, North Korea. Yes. Lord, we pray for all of the nations, China, Lord. Lord, China. Yes. Lord, we pray for Taiwan. We yes. pray, Father, for Hong Kong, for all of these nations, Lord, and yes. islands, Lord. We pray in Jesus' yes. name and send your word of healing to them that are looking to you right now. Yes. Those Lord in Cuba father in Jesus name we just send your word to them yes. and healing and Lord yes. those that have been hurt in the war in Ukraine yes. those that are injured father we send your word of healing to them and Lord we just pray for the peace of God to reign in their hearts knowing that you are in control and you are taking care yes. of them your angels yes. are ministering yes. to them they're all around them Lord yes. In Jesus' name, we just oh, thank please. you, Lord, that you're working in the Philippines. You're sending your word to those that need healing there. And Lord, their ministries, Father, the ministries all around the world, we send your word to them. Lord, encourage them, lift them up. And Lord, protect them in yes. Jesus' name from the enemy yes. and those that would harm. Lord, in Jesus' name, we just thank you that you're working in all of yes. these, Lord. And, you're, and Lord, even in England and and your yeah, Europe and Lord, all, all of the nations that are in North and South America that are experiencing heat. Yes. Lord, in Jesus name, oh, we ask God. for these temperatures to come down in yes. the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord, that, that it would be bearable, Lord. And we pray for those families that have lost loved ones during this time. Minister to them, yes. Lord, minister to them, Lord, in Jesus name and yes. those that are so. We send your word yes, to them Lord. too, Lord. Heal, Lord. <laughs> 
Yes. Heal the broken heart. Lord, heal them in Jesus' name, we pray, and minister to them yes. in Jesus' name. And we pray for Ukraine as yes, well, Lord. Lord. Uh, you see what's, uh, we believe those yes. are super so so soldiers. soldiers. They yes. are angels of the Lord. For the angels mm -hmm. of the Lord encamp around about those that yes, love him Lord. and fear him. And Lord, we know that these that are filling the churches, uh, uh, that many of the believers have left, but yet there are hundreds and hundreds coming to Christ, believing on yes. you, Lord, as yes. Savior, Lord, and Master. Lord, we ask in Jesus' in name Jesus uh, that you encourage yes. them and, uh, yes. Lord, lift them up uh, yes, in Jesus' name. Israel. Yes, Lord, Lord, and for Israel and yes. the things that are happening yes, Lord. there, Lord, in, uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Uh, and, and, Lord, there are Lord, others, uh, Lord, too many to oh, mention Lord. on this in program, uh, but, Lord, you Lord. know each and every Every one of them, and we yes. send the word. Yes, We're Lord. reminded of your word that says uh, God sent His word Lord. and He healed them yes. uh, and He delivered them uh, from their destructions. Uh, and in Lord, Jesus whether it's name. leprosy, in whether Jesus it's name. cancer, uh, whether Jesus it's uh, name. organ failure, oh, no matter Lord. what it is, uh, Lord, yes. you are the healer, and in we send Jesus the word of name. healing uh, in, in the name name of name. Jesus. Uh, Jesus but Lord we want to see revival Lord we we know that uh, they're talking about uh, in in that what is happening is uh, a decline uh, uh, in uh, uh, what's happening in the weather and so forth but Lord we know that a lot of it could be judgment uh, nations need to turn to God and we pray for the nations uh, that they would turn to you Lord Lord, yes, uh, and Lord. be saved uh, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, Jesus from the leadership name. in this country to the leadership in the countries of the world. Uh, yes, Lord, let yes, them Lord. come to know in you Jesus as Savior, name. Lord in and Jesus Master. Name. Lord, save these people oh, uh, that are uh, that influence oh, others, whether oh, they be uh, in the sports, uh, whether they be oh, uh, uh, in, the, in the movies or whatever. Oh, Lord, uh, where people seem to look up to these people, let them come to Christ uh, and let them have a testimony that will influence the youth uh, of, um, of America, the youth uh, of Europe, uh, the Europe, uh, uh, that uh, the youth of Canada, of Latin America, Lord, in Jesus' name, you see what is happening. We pray for America because this program is to pray for America and the nations. And you see the southern border. You see the chaos that's happening. And God, we ask you to move. But we see, Lord, that there are things happening. We see things that there are going to be millions of babies uh, that are going to be spared uh, and give the those uh, politicians that are 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 being strong uh, give them the strength to remain strong uh, and stop uh, any uh, uh, anything that will attack and cause more children to be killed but rather lord let there be complete victory in jesus name in jesus name Amen, Father, and we continue to pray for America, and we ask that your kingdom come and that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in our nation of America. Father, we ask for your forgiveness for the sins and the evil ways of this nation. Father, we ask for your mercy to save this country from destruction. We acknowledge that without you, Lord, this nation will continue to decline. But Lord, you are a miracle working God. Even when the circumstances look bleak, you can bring the dry bones back to life. Lord, we are asking for your supernatural intervention as you did in the days of old for the nation of Israel. Father, send your warring angels to fight as we speak your word over this nation. May your kingdom be established in every family, town, city, and state. May revival spread throughout this land, changing the course of this nation. Father, we ask you to touch the youth of this country and reveal yourself to them, shield and guard their minds against the evil 
pushed in this nation. Give them a spirit of discernment. Put a hunger in their hearts to pursue righteousness. May this generation honor you and be a God-fearing nation. Father, we speak revival fires to spread over this country. We break the hold of Satan over the minds of people. We tort every demonic plan against us and this country in Jesus mighty name. We pray that your plans and your purposes, Lord, will be fulfilled. We bind the we bind and we break every satanic hold over Washington DC and we release God's warring angels to bring back law and order, truth and justice, Lord. We turn to you, Lord, as you are our only hope for saving this country. Father your word says that you will never leave or forsake us. And we know that you will come and rescue this nation. And we believe that and pray that in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank Father, you, we thank you that you have and do hear our prayers. Yes, Lord. We thank you that if we ask anything yes. according to your will, and we are asking Stand according to your Lord, will, Jesus. we know that you hear us according to first John 5, 14 and 15. Yes. And if we know that you hear us we know that, that we, we have, have the petitions that we yes. have asked of you so father thank we you, thank Jesus. you for hearing our prayers we thank you for hearing the prayers of your people around the world and we thank you for hearing the prayers of your church you, in Jesus. ukraine and the dispersed church of ukraine uh, all over the world father we pray your kingdom come your will be done in our lives in our homes in our families yes. in our circumstances in our cities yes, in our Jesus. states and our uh, nations father your governance come your direction come um, we pray for those who are in leadership in this nation, that they would bow their knees before yes, you, Lord. seeking your face yes, and humility, Lord, seeking Jesus. your guidance yes, uh, and seeking your input. Father, yes, we pray Lord, that they Jesus. would give ear to you, to your word and to your servants uh, and not to demonic whispers and demonic yes. influence. Uh, and we pray that this nation will once again be one nation under God and indivisible with justice liberty and justice for all father we pray for canada likewise that their liberties would be returned that there would be full freedom for the preaching yes. of the gospel of jesus yes, christ jesus. father we pray we for you, our surrounding jesus. neighbors of mexico the caribbean nations father yes, we Lord pray jesus. for the nation of cuba you, we jesus. send your word to them give yes, them freedom Lord. of god yes, full Lord. freedom for the yes, preaching of the Jesus. gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray for other nations, Jesus. Brazil and uh, Argentina. Yes, Father, Jesus. intervene Thank in you, their Jesus. lives and their affairs and their uh, nations, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, we lift up uh, the nation of China. There are so many there in China who are believers. Yes, we Lord pray Jesus. that they would be a light shining in the darkness, yes, that they would Lord. be a light that shines in the midst of yes. difficulties and trials and yes. tribulations. And we pray Thank that you, you would use Amen. your church. May your church arise as a mighty army Amen. in this hour in China, in Russia, Amen. in Ukraine, all over the world, oh God, in Indonesia, and Lord God, in the African continent, we pray that there would be a special visitation of God. You know their material needs, but Father, we know that you are the God who has, for whom nothing is impossible, and Lord, you are our provider, and we pray yes, that you Lord, would provide you, for their needs. We pray that you would strength to them. We pray that you would use the yes, African Lord church Jesus. to transform the African continent in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord, and you, likewise, Jesus. we pray for the South Pacific. We pray, yes, oh God, for the nations that, uh, seek, that are seeking, not knowing what they are seeking, yet they are seeking for Jesus Christ, the desire of all nations. Yes. So, Father, we say your kingdom come, your oh, will be done Lord. in our lives, yes, and Lord. in our nations, in our homes, Yes, in the Lord name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. It looks like we lost Tony and Marge on the feed here, but thank you for joining thank us. You, and thank you, Tony and, and Marge, Marge, if you still 
are able to uh, hear us. Uh, we want to uh, express our deepest appreciation for your participation in the broadcast broadcast today. Yeah. Folks, join us again tomorrow, every day at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 p.m. East Coast time. And uh, we are continuing to pray for America, for the nations. And for you. And for you, absolutely. And so, we would appreciate you praying for us as well. Amen. We mm. do covet your prayers and we need the strength of God. We need the direction of God. We need God's blessings, mm. just like you do. And the Bible does say, pray ye one for another that you may be healed. And it's not just healing, it is provision and it is other needs being met. So let's pray one for another. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Continue to join us. Do share the broadcast. And that is one way that you can share the gospel by sharing this broadcast Amen. with your friends, your loved ones. And uh, I, we know that some of you cannot watch live because you're at work or because of the time difference where you are located. But uh, do join us when you can and do uh, tune in. The same anointing, the same prayers will be as effective when you watch as when it, this went out live. So do watch us uh, at whatever time you can, whether you are in Ukraine, Germany, the United Kingdom, uh, Holland, or wherever you may be at, join us. We love you, but Jesus loves you even more. Absolutely. And don't look at how big your needs are. Don't look at how big that mountain may seem. Look at how big our God is. He is Amen. greater than any need, Amen. than any situation. And we need to keep reminding ourselves that Jesus Christ is greater. And uh, if he is in us, who can be against us? What can be against us when Christ, Amen. the creator of the world, lives in our hearts? And he does, if we have invited him in. And folks, we continue to work um, uh, diligently to supply the, uh, the frontline needs in Ukraine. Uh, the situation is uh, very, very uh, uh, fluid. It, it changes and the uh, stability that seemed to be in one area then changes as uh, 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 from day to day. But God does not change and his protective power is available. So we continue to pray. Please continue to pray for the volunteers, continue to pray for the defenders of the nation, for their uh, president and their governmental leaders, that they would also bow their knees before Jesus Christ and ask for his guidance and direction. Mm -hmm. And let's pray for peace in that area. Bind those uh, warring spirits and release the spirit of peace, the spirit of revival, salvation and healing and prosperity over the nation. If you want to take part in our humanitarian relief efforts and they are ongoing and the needs are huge uh, in some ways bigger mm -hmm. than they were before, please do not hesitate. If the Lord speaks to you, don't wait, don't hold back. Uh, you will be sowing on fertile soil. The Bible tells us that if we just offer a cup of water to one of his servants or one of his prophets, there is a prophet's Amen. reward. Well, let me tell you, um, I, we cannot reward you, but God will reward you for your giving. Amen. And we, uh, this is an opportunity. And I look at it not um, as an obligation, but an opportunity for you and I to sow into a nation in need right now. Uh, we don't know at some point, they may be sowing back into our lives. Yeah. But at this point, the need is there. And we as a body of Jesus Christ want to do what we can when part of the body of Jesus Christ is going through what they are going mm -hmm. through. Our help is going straight to the pastors or in the frontline areas who are buying food, putting fuel in vehicles and get that food, the supplies. Some cases it's stuff like water and diapers and soaps because there's no stores open mm -hmm. uh, to, to get to the needy people in war zones and um, in frontline cities and to help refugees who are coming out. There are still refugees streaming out 
of the Donbass region, out of uh, uh, Kherson and Zaporizhia regions into the city of Kherson. We're supporting the efforts there to welcome these people, to feed them, and to help them on their way uh, to resettle someplace else uh, or to stay within the confines of that city. So uh, if you want to participate, go to our webpage, globalvisionministries.org. Do that right now. Don't wait. Find the donate button. It's very simple. And you'll have the options of what method you want to use to make that donation. And if the, you're doing this for Ukraine, please just put the word Ukraine. We have also made an appeal. There's a huge need of uh, children's outreaches right now. They're uh, taking place, children's outreaches on streets, uh, children's camps yeah. and so on uh, that are being held three days, five days to try to help the children who have been so much, uh, so affected by this war. And so if you want to designate uh, that for children's camps, just put Ukraine children camp or just Ukraine children, and we'll dedicate that portion to uh, children's outreaches. There is a, a very desperate situation in the city of Nikopol. Um, uh, Pastor Roman there has asked us for help in evacuating the children. They were caring for 50 children there. Uh, right now, the uh, bombing has become so intense, it's not safe for them. They want to evacuate them. So uh, please, if God speaks to your heart, do not hold back but do it and do it quickly. If you want to do it by check, just go to, just write the check to Global Vision Ministries and it can designate um, what it's for and uh, send it to PO Box 5377, El Dorado Hills, California, 95762. And it looks like uh, Tony you, Abram is coming on here just to- In time to say, uh, uh, to goodbye. say <laughs> uh, To say goodbye while well, they try to get on here, but I don't see them. Uh, they try. Well, God bless you. Thank you for joining us Thank today. Thank you for joining us today. And Tony and Marge, is, uh, Marge are, are coming trying on. to get on, but- Yeah, so we'll just wait one more minute for them to say goodbye to you as well. Uh, because while we were praying, they disappeared. <laughs> we opened our they, eyes. They were raptured, Walter. <laughs> while we were praying. Well, uh, they're back. Uh, they're back. <laughs> we're uh, just in time to say our goodbyes. And, and so uh, you can say the goodbyes <laughs> and the farewells. We were just telling the people that while we were praying, um, uh, you folks got raptured or something. We disappeared. <laughs> no, we just we decided to come back uh, <laughs> no we the, we lost the power there it, it, you know sometimes you get a uh, from a storm or something but anyways we just lost it for a few few seconds i guess and um, but anyways we were praying and believing and we're we're sorry yeah. that happens, but that that's. Uh, but we know Walter and Nina were continuing, oh, they so were continuing. no problem. No problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. 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 Well, thank you again, and thank you, Tony March, for your participation today. And folks, we love you, and um, we appreciate you both yeah. for being so faithful in your service to the Lord. And. Um, and, and continuing to be faithful That's in your right. service to the Lord. It's not just past service. You continue That's to right. be very active in ministry and a great example to others. Amen. So God richly bless you. And folks, let's pray for Tony and Marge as well. Father, we bless Tony yes, and we bless Lord. Marge. We thank you for their exemplary life um, that uh, they've Renew lived their, youth, their ministry. Yes. Uh, Father, we pray that those many, those hundreds and even thousands that they've trained around the world would rise up as evangelists, pastors, teachers, prophets, and, and, and uh, apostles, Lord, that you use to shake the nations and to usher in the return of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you would give Tony March strength. And Lord, we pray that you would bless them, that these latter years of their lives yes, would be much greater and more influential than they ever dreamed, thought, or imagined, for nothing is impossible with you. And you can yes. do exceedingly more abundantly more above we could even think, think or imagine. That. So Lord, we thank you. We ask that you give them strength. We ask yes. that you give them health. We ask that you give them all that they need uh, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. And we pray for you as well.
God will was... just continue to bless all these outreaches and your ministry and your families in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you again for joining us. Amen. Do share the broadcast and uh, remember. Remember that Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the same, same yesterday, yesterday, today, today and, and forever. forever. God bless you.